Welcome back. It's windy. Not too bad out there. It just sucks. So if the camera goes, that's the end of it. I quit. Amber and Zeppi are doing some other things in this car. So you'll see them periodically roaming around, playing dress up with the curtains and things like that. But I got to start getting this thing, sand it down and get ready to prime. I want to prime it today. Yes, even outside in the wind, it's got to be done. So just some 80 grit that I got laying around and my new not for body work orbital but it should work it worked over there good i did notice that some of my patches aren't holding the best so i'm gonna have to redo those So this is all nice and smooth. It don't look smooth, but it is. Went ahead and put some glaze on those holes. They were, you know, kind of showing their dip, but should be good to go. While this is doing this, I'll just keep moving on. I'll get back to you. Damn, I'm burping. I'll get back to you in just a little bit. I'm just gonna keep on rolling unless you wanna see me sand all day. Well, she's all wiped down, cleaned up, sanded and ready for primer that's right so let's get to it huh so the wind's blowing right in my face and that's just fine i can go from the other way but i need to get this first so whatever you get all over everything but Uh, going on pretty good I'm sure it's going to end up all over my other cars but oh well cover the rust and it's going away from the, the Jeep so we're good so 100% honesty I'm thinking I probably should have just used a roller like I thought about doing or, you know, a brush to put it on because that's so uneven with that little spray can, but we'll see how it looks. And I'm not worried about getting it down in here where the blue was or on the sides because I'm going to sand that down too. Uh, try to do something with it. I mean, I guess it's okay. It'll have to do for now. We'll uh, start sanding on the rest of it. I mean, it's not drying too bad. Sure as the hell don't go on even, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not bad. You can't get a good spray out of that can, so that's a problem. And I ain't worried about getting this stuff right here because I'm just going to take some steel wool or something. I'm going to get all this cleaned up. May try to do something with this. I don't want it to be white like the rest of it. This needs to stay blue like the rest of the car. That kind of sets it off. So anyway. I'm, uh, we're gonna, 
I'm gonna let this dry before I go any further. I may sand on this, but off camera is boring. But let's, let's see what happens. I can't really see this here. I got it a little heavy right there, but I don't know. See you in a little bit. All right. Well, Zeppi's in here learning how to play drums. I still ain't cleaned this up because I ain't had time. I literally got home late last night. So what I got here is gloss white attractor paint. Yep, that's straight from our local Rural King. This right here is my uh, paint bucket. We're going to do a specific perfect measurement of hardener and paint. And then, of course, I got a brush. I am going to go get a roller for the rest of it, though. But I think because of the edgings on the back there, I'm going to go ahead and use a brush, see how it does. But don't work. I'll just sand it down. First time ever, ever. And I'm doing it completely f***ed up. But I'm going to do it anyway, just this way. Let me get this mixed up. We'll get up there and we'll get this painted. Well, Zeppi's playing and did a bird shit. It sure did. Really? It's a bullshit. Anyway, about as good as it's gonna get. Let's try it. This is terrible. Absolutely awful. Terrible. Pretty awful. ATVs, dogs barking. So yeah, there's my test spot. And a few little things have fell in it. This is the beauty of living under trees and I don't have all the stuff for that yet. Otherwise I would have done it under there. But I have to tell you, the brush thing worked. I did put hardener in there. So we're just gonna have to let this sit cause it's, you know, 60 some degrees outside, but We'll see what happens. I mean, first time for everything. This is kind of a oddball way of doing it anyway. But, you know, I'm sure we'll have to sand a couple places, put another coat on. And, you know, maybe sand it down. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is it looks halfway decent. You can see all the bad spots in the metal, though. But that's to be expected. Otherwise, I'd have to coat the whole damn thing and I'm not doing that so anyway that's going to do it for today and I'll be back on this tomorrow and then the work week comes again and yeah I'm going to get shit for days on how I did this I uh, didn't buy a roller I forgot to get a roller uh, and I, something came up I couldn't get to sanding on this yet I might sand on this yet tonight while it's before it gets too dark but uh my main thing is I wanted to I wanted to test this because if this don't work back here, then it ain't gonna work for the rest. But if I get this and it looks decent, halfway decent, we're leaving it. That's the way the whole thing's gonna look right there. If, if it works, that's the way it's gonna look. And that's fine with me because all the holes are filled. Not bad for my first screw up of doing body work. So I'll be back at this tomorrow. See if we can get the rest of it. See you later. Well, top of the morning to you. Hey, it's St. Patty's Day. So what are we doing today, Jay? Well, we're gonna continue sanding and filling and sanding and filling and painting and all that happy shit. I didn't think I was gonna be filling anymore, but let me show you what I found. Well, first, there's my paint. It's already got bird shit on it. That's fine, it'll sand off. There's some high spots where I, I got runs. So I'm letting this dry 
and it looks fantastic actually a lot better than i thought it was going to turn out but as you can see right there hopefully the camera picks it up i missed some runs and that's fine we'll sand them down get them figured out not a big deal i've been taking some 80 grit on my orbitable or orbitable orbital orbital and getting this about as smooth as i can get it that's all we're looking for and i took some rust converter put it on that because that is that's pretty bad did it on a couple of spots on here uh, not sure if that's going to help all that much but we're trying so then i got up here and i knew there was some paint that was sitting up so i took my scraper and guess what found where the siren used to be there's the hole for your wires and the four mounting bolt holes and i'm just kind of cutting this back with my whirly woo as far as i can and then i'll probably take a hammer and just kind of knock these down as much as i can and looks like i'm going to be putting some more glass in it but that's okay I, I don't mind these are this ain't that bad so we'll just go with it but yeah i just been sanding i had to put some glaze filler whatever sandable junk over the top of my glass job on these holes i'll have to do the same thing over there i knew that was coming it's not a big deal but other than that i'm just uh i'm just sanding away i mean i'm not going to bore you with more with that damn thing so yeah i'm going to continue grinding off that crap and i'm just going to get some glass out and give her the beans well that's that. Hopefully that's the last one I gotta do. I could not put my mesh underneath those holes. It was impossible because of the cross brace, but it will have to work. So while I'm waiting on that to dry and harden, we'll just start sanding on this other side. Maybe this windowsill, I gotta do that with by hand, you know, so I'll just keep on trucking. Well, I got that sucker about as good as it's gonna get. And I worked on that over there and that's good that i just need to sand down to get ready to prime and sand and now i'm going to go ahead and start working on the rest of it that thing was a pain in the butt and unfortunately on that other side i'm going to have to put some more of this glaze on there because i accidentally hit it which is just fine but that should be ready to go but you can see the difference of what i've sanded and what I haven't sanded. So Amber just left. She's gonna go get me some rollers and a few other little knickknacks and things. And I'm gonna paint this thing today. Guaranteed. Well, I had to take a little break because uh, Skylar come over. He just got home from vacation. Uh, and I had to fix his Harley, a couple little things. Cause you know, dad things, so get, no matter what, you gotta, you gotta stop and fix them. Plus it was a safety issue. So um, pretty much I got this whole thing sanded down. I went ahead and, uh, you know, recovered a few things with that spot putty. And I just got to wait for it to dry and sand her down. And that's it. I know I said, that's it, that's it. That's all we have to do, blah, 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 blah. But you know, if you're a hot rodder like me, or, you know, just like to get old cars running, you run into this shit all the time right it's just how it goes so let me give you an idea i'll show you here see what we're looking at so i got that all done up there it's ready to go it's ready for primer uh this i went ahead and redid whenever i did that and i found some low spots a little bit i mean nothing major i just you know i thought i'd mess with it oops dropped a little bit doesn't matter i'll sand it down but i got all that done and then what i did this side was rustier than the other side. You see all this, this is just nasty stuff in this whole line. So I went ahead and I treated all those spots with that rust converter. So that's gonna take a while to dry. I still do have to get hand sand out here and get these little corners and then above the windshield. But I found, you know, a couple spots up there. I went ahead and did, got all my holes done. Yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be good enough that, you know, this thing's gonna look halfway decent. So 
that's where we're at. I didn't want to bore you with all the extra bullshit. I mean, I, if you want me to sit there and put a montage of me just reeing, fucking sand and everything with some kind of music going, blah, 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 I can do that. Let me know in the comments if that's what you want, but I, I don't think you do. I think you'd rather say, this is what I'm doing, this is how I'm doing it, get it all done, show you, hey, look, it worked. I'm not holding anything back like me screwing up or anything. I'm gonna show you and tell you that I screwed up. You know me, that's just the way I am because maybe you won't make that mistake if you try this, but I gotta let that stuff settle and I gotta change some batteries. I'm about to lose them all, mic, camera, everything. So I'm gonna let that stuff settle and I'll get the sand in on it and I'll bring you back. If you wanna know how I sand, you can go back to the last video. It's up here, up here up here right here and you can watch that one and you can see how horribly i sand so anyway i'll get back to you when this is ready to go and we're ready to start priming this car well all right she is ready for primer there's a low spot right there though damn how did i not miss that oh well good enough anyway Got her all sanded down, everything it needs sanded down. I just wipe her down and she ready to prime. Oh, I still gotta do this. Still gotta run sandpaper across that, that's horrible. And then uh, I'll probably do a makeshift prime job, you know, where I'm not gonna tape it all off just yet. I'll tape it off after I get, when I get ready to paint. But, uh, cause this stuff here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit with steel wool and it'll take anything that I get on it. It'll take it right off. So, it's getting late in the day though. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. I got things to do other than work on cars. Amazing, huh? Tell you what, I have been going crazy. I'm putting this stuff on thick. It's getting runs in it, thick spots because I'm trying to make sure I get it in all these holes and little rust spots that I treated. But I got most of it done. I'm not really paying attention to the stainless because I'm gonna clean this thing all up again before I go and paint it. Um, you know, I'll probably use some steel wool on them anyway. It's stainless, so that paint will not stick to it. So it's fine. I'm just trying not to get it on anywhere I'm not gonna paint, which these door frames right here, I'm gonna paint those too. So that ain't a big deal. Either that or SOS pad will take it off, but I probably should have just went with a roller, you know, like get some regular primer. But I really like this stuff. I've used it before on other things. But I'm just making sure everything's covered, even if that means thickening down, because I'm gonna sand all this before we go, before we paint. I'm not worried about runs. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get back to this. Because I have things to do putting on a live tonight if you guys saw that it's st. Patrick's Day that's when this is being filmed because this is the first chance I got to do it so this is gonna look like shit until I can get back to it but I don't want any more surface rust coming on this at all it's because it, it's happening like as soon as I get it sanded It'll just start surface rusting or whatever, flash rusting or whatever. And I did wipe this all down, blew it off, wiped it down. It takes forever to do, but I know this isn't the best way to do this, but it was quick. And I don't know anything about primer, putting the reducer in it. I'm already having enough trouble with the damn paint because nobody in town has little paint mixing they're all gone. The little tubs or bowls or cups or whatever the hell. Yeah, I have no idea, so I'm forced to guess. So this is gonna look terrible until, until I can get to it again. But it's starting to chill, get cold, and I can't have that finding places I've missed, finding places where it's extra thick. Cause you can see it looks like the surface of the moon. 
and uh, I mean, this is just how it is. Shade tree, white trash at its finest. Getting down to the wire for me. Yeah. You know what? Let's just cover it. Probably won't stay, but. Been sitting forever. And it just looked wet. Maybe it was just wet. I sanded on it. Yeah, stainless looks terrible. All right. It's amazing when you want it to run into a crease, it won't run. It'll run any time you don't want it to run. Son of a bitch. So. Double check everywhere. And there we go. Yeah, I know. You're going to look at this and the comments are going to be, you're an idiot. Well, I am. Uh, but I've run out of time. And if I had piddly ass time where I just had a shop and I could just sit in there and work on this car all day, no offense to those that can, I can't. So I got other things to do and I needed to get this thing sealed. It's sealed. Looks like shit but it's sealed other than the back window. But uh, I mean, I'll, I'll show you there's runs and everything in it, but you know, remember I have to sand this yet and I may, may change my mind and get some regular primer, but for now, no more water. That's the good thing. So let me show you the carnage. So you can see I got little runs and stuff, but I had to do this thick. Look how big those holes are. And no, I am not filling all this. It, it, no, no, don't need to. You can't see the pits at all in this. Look how it covered, tractor paint. So it's all done for the most part. Yeah, this is gonna get painted anyway. So I gotta sand all this down and you know, we'll get the stainless once we're done. But, uh, wow, I can't believe it, guys. Can't believe it. And you know, this is temporary stuff. I got, I still have some work to do. I went ahead and covered this and I probably shouldn't have because that has, uh, what you call it on it, rust converter. So I'm gonna have to re-sand that. It's not a big deal. I, I knew it was coming. But, you know, for the most part, it's not so bad. And this looks fantastic. It needs, you know, I got to re-sand this too, and I'm going to. That's why I didn't cover it, because I'm going to sand this back down. This was my test, because this is the last place you'll look, which I don't know how I thought of that, but no, I'm lying. I was, I just was messing around, and it worked, but I still need to sand it down. But I'm telling you, this thing doesn't look half bad. I wonder how our line looks over here. It's not bad, except for that indention right there. So guess what? Jay's going to tear this all back down at some point, and we're going to sand this right here, and I'm going to put more filler in there. You can see how that right there is indented, and we're going to have to put more filler in there, because that looks like total shit. And as much work as I did to this, I'm not that you know, I don't care so much. I just want it sealed. But that right there, you can't see it from this side. But if you look at it from an angle, there's an indention right there. And yeah, well, I can't feel it. You know what? No, nope. She's done for the most part. We can start working on other things while we're sanding this. I got so much to do. I got to work on this hood. I got to work on that front valence underneath there. And I got stuff to do on the engine. I got to get the seat out of it, get the floor. You get it. So that'll end here, but I'll be back. When you see me again, it may be a week, something like that. 
I, I don't I don't know. It could be two days. Maybe my load gets canceled again, right? So anyway, I'm gonna go set up to do a live for all y'all for Patty's Day, and then I'm gonna put all this shit away first. I don't leave it outside, believe it or not. And then I gotta I gotta run somewhere. Got some more parts I gotta grab before the live. So I'll see you in a in a in a snap. You'll but bye. Welcome back to Jay's f up everything he can when it comes to body work and paint. Let me show you my nightmare. So yeah, looks real good, don't it? No, no, it don't. We're scraping it all off because four days later, it's still wet. Look at that. That's wiping off on my hand. So we'll be using a different type of paint. I have just been using a scraper and 80 grit and I'm just going through getting all the stick off of it. And then I'm gonna sand her all back down and primer it again. The plan was, is there's a couple of spots where I got some runs, like right in here, and I just lightly used some sandpaper on that and it rolled up and looked like Play-Doh. So, this side's starting over. Good thing I tested here instead of doing all that beforehand. That's ready to go. It just needs this initial sand down of that primer, maybe a little more primer, I don't know. But I thought I would work on this a little bit and well nope so yeah that's what i'm doing scraping this whole roof off and it's coming off pretty easily i don't know if i can get it on camera or not there you go look at that look at that ain't that fantastic yeah i won't be using this paint again this is definitely not this is the cheaper 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 of the tractor paint and we are not going to use this ever again so I'm gonna go get some of that Rust-Oleum stuff. And uh, like I said, all you can do is sit here, work and work and work, and get pissed off. And you know, not to mention I'm already pissed off because I'm off work because didn't have a load today. But let me get this and I'll get back with you. Pull there, right back down. I accidentally scratched that too hard. So guess what? I gotta sand on that and possibly put some more filler in it. That's just wonderful. That's how my day's going. But now I got this all stripped down. How did I get to stick them off? Gasoline. But uh, just wiped it down with rags. But now I got to sand it all back down. I think I'm going to get underneath there and see if I can get that strip off there. I'm sure I'll break something in the process. But hey, that's what we're known for here, right? Okay, uh, I got to think about some things here. I'm gonna see if I can't maybe get that off and then we'll sand on that a little bit and then I'm gonna take the sander and go over this whole damn thing again because that's what this channel's about at this moment in time sanding my favorite f thing in the world well went ahead threw some primer on that had it all cleaned up and sanded back down didn't do much with you know taping off because I can't take this off it's got 7 16 bolts that hold it off, but I don't want to take a chance of taking that off just yet, so we're gonna wait. Uh, I just want to get it covered so I can go on to other things because I gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint this. I may, I may just get the spray paint. They make a spray paint in the Rust Oleum that's tractor paint. I may just do that. I that shit did not harden. And now I'm scared to death I'm gonna have to do it to the whole damn roof if it don't harden. So, I don't know, I talked to Dalton and he told me that the cheap shit sometimes takes weeks. And I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with that shit. So, anyway, next. How the fuck did anybody get worked on in here? Cause damn. Okay, so right off the bat, I know that I'm gonna have to get some kind of washers. And I think I'd rather die than get worked on in here. Well, bullshit. You piece of shit. I don't know if that is part of it or not. 
Looks like that whole thing wants to come up now. Let's try. Huh. I think that's it. Yep. Oh. Why did I take that off? Why in God's name did I take this off? Well, let me put this on Blanche. All I can say is please not be rusted through. And it is not. I don't know what it's some kind of seal. I don't know. I don't see any rust holes. Just the holes that was made for. There's the big one. That's the one. There's a hole, there's a hole. This is the other nut that's on there that takes this off. Problem is, is there's one down here that I can't get to. So this is gonna be different we're gonna have to steel wool that <sighs> I suppose there's a weld Wow so that whole thing is there because of a weld and they just decided to make it decorative so I need to sand this down and we need to rust treat that like post haste right, let me blow that out so I don't want to hear any more complaints about how bad my welding is. Jeez, they didn't even cut that down. That's just good old stick. Wow. That's what it used to look like. That's what it looks like now. It actually held up pretty good, you know, considering, considering what I have no idea. You dig out one damn thing and another thing just pops in. All right, let me finish this up. So I got that rust treated. It's all cleaned out. And now this way you can really see the bad weld. Jeez. Oh well, it's holding. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. All right, so that's got to dry. I don't know how long that'll take. I did use a sander across there, as you can see. And we'll wait till that's dry. We'll scratch her down and Throw some primer on it we're just gonna paint everything and then I'll use like a rubber strip or maybe use just that truck bed stuff that you put on there to put a camper shell on that would probably work too as long as it's got something and then we're definitely gonna have to find some rubber washers to go on the bottom side so this is what I plan to do to it anyway just got some of that I don't even know what grade that is quad I, I don't know one of these was bad, missing the little clip thing that pulls it in there. It's to be expected. The underneath side of that looks pretty good once you get all the crap out of it. Now you can see where I've used the quad steel wool and where I haven't. See how much better that looks? There was paint on here, got that off, this little corner, you know. So we know that'll clean up and that's a good thing we'll just have to do it to the rest of it not a big deal that's what the plan was to begin with good job for amber and the kids right there all right so that right there is dry and primed i've just been kind of using steel wool on some of this stuff just to see if it'll come out of it and it's all coming out of it except for some of this has pretty good corrosion underneath it you know but that's okay so I need to run to town and get what we're going to call the right paint, and that would be the Rust-Oleum. I'm not going to use that stuff ever again. I, you know, I'll use it for something, something stupid, you know, that doesn't have any meaning that a lot of people are going to be looking at this car, and I don't want them to walk up and put their hand on it, and then their hand slide, and it's full of paint. Because that shit didn't dry. Matter of fact, I've heard rumors that it takes three weeks to actually dry. And, we can't do that out here it's gotta it's gotta dry now so i'm gonna go get that paint a couple other things that'll let this kind of settle and then uh, i am gonna wash the top of this before i paint it uh, i gotta do a whole bunch of taping off and 
all that kind of crap, which I hate. I'm terrible at it. I can't even do it in the house without f***ing it up. So anyway, I'll see you back here in a bit. Okay, well, I got all my paint. Got the Rust-Oleum stuff, and off camera here, I went ahead and soap and watered the, the roof. Checked everything out. She seems to be about as good as she's gonna get, you know, with all the rust pitting and all that crap that's in it. But we're just that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. So, different plan on this one. I am going to use a brush to do the edges right here, like this. I'm gonna use a brush and then a big roller for the rest. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can over the top of here. That way it, uh, oh, got a little bit of water and I gotta blow it out. But uh, that way I can just get on the top with a roller and you know, get it done. Uh, it's relatively warm-ish. Sun's still blazing down on this thing. Wind's blowing a little bit, but that's okay. This thing's as clean as it's gonna get for being outside. So <sighs> let me blow out a little bit more and then we'll, We'll get the brush out. <sighs> See what happens. I already made a mess. Well, very, very light coat. It's just a light coat just to get these done. You know why? Because most people are this tall. They come up and they see that right there. And I want to make sure that's good and good and covered. But you can see it looks pretty decent. You can see the brush marks in it, but I'll take care of that. Those will go away once, uh, once uh, you get more coverage on it. So it's not bad. It's, you know, like right there, you can see my brush marks, but I'm, I'm okay with that because it's very light. I did get down in the channel. I just took a, you know, took the brush and went all the way down. This looks really good. This needs to dry really well. I'm not gonna mess with it. And it, it, it really is to the touch. It's getting, it's drying pretty fast. This is, much much better stuff see this is the rust-oleum farm implement paint and this is this town and country stuff from real king that shit probably takes two to three weeks to dry to harden perfectly and i even had hardener in it don't believe me you see that right there this is what i took the paint out of watch this it just it that's how bad it is it's awful it's like house paint so we use that for something else maybe start a bonfire but this stuff here it is drying quickly so just let her sit there and dry if it starts getting any colder though or you know cooling off anymore i'm not going to mess with it anymore tonight make it happen but all right let's just uh let's wait and see what happens so i jumped the gun it's warm enough i feel which I'm probably completely wrong. But I went ahead and just decided to go to town. Probably the wrong thing to do. so much better it's not even a question way better paint it's 
on there and then I'm lightly going over it after it's down. Lightly. We got her. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That's his little bike. His birthday's this weekend, too. Big guy's gonna be nine. Anyway, this looks good. Other than and I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this. This is I'm gonna tape this off correctly. I might just make this all white. That way it kind of sets off. I don't know. But everything looks pretty damn good for a first coater. Got some bug legs and stuff left in it, but you know. I'm gonna bring you over to the bright side. You see my brush marks, but Hopefully I can next coat and take that off. I don't know what the hell that got in there, but whatever. But the line looks good. Then this is going to get sanded and painted too. I'm just not to that yet. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's going to do it for today. I'll be back. We'll do the second coat whenever it warms back up. The sun's shining on it. It's the only reason I painted it. I thought, man, that sun's shining on it. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I am glad I did because it is almost dry to the touch in places already. Because the wind's blowing really, really good. That's only one coat, y'all. That smells even better than that other crap. So I think we're in good shape. So I'll see you back here again. Don't know when but soon hey welcome back to the wide wide world of what the f yeah where we do everything the wrong way right it's about a week later okay zeppi's birthday was yesterday that would have been saturday didn't do a damn thing on cars all i did was spend time with him you got to do that once in a while you know what i mean so what are we doing today jay well let me show you the paint then i'll explain what we're doing so as you can see this looks pretty damn good, but you can see the brush marks and that's fine. I knew that was going to happen because this, believe it or not, this is a really light coat, but it's got little imperfections in the paint. These little, uh, I don't know, they're almost like air bubbles. Um, and we need to give this thing another coat. So here's the idea I've come up with to get rid of the imperfections. And I'm sure it's completely wrong, but we're doing it. So I come up with this. It's probably ain't gonna work, but we're gonna try it because we gotta do something. And I don't wanna use sandpaper on this. I've had bad luck with sandpaper on paint. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm gonna use a Scotch-Brite with soap and water. Just run it over the top lightly, try to get some of the imperfections while I'm washing the top, getting it prepared for the next coat of paint, which hopefully will be the last. I don't know. It possibly will work, possibly will not. I mean, all I can do is just paint over my mistakes, so who cares, right? So anyway, let's see how bad we can mess this up. Okay, so I wet her down. Look at the beading. Wow. And then I've got soap and water right here. So I'm just going to run this across all this, get all the bird shit off, number one. See, that's a lot less aggressive than a sandpaper. And it seems to be working rather well. 
really well, actually. I want to see if it'll dull it out because I want the rest of the car, whenever I do a treatment on it, I'd like it to, you know, blend in a little better. So if this works, just now dulling this down, whenever I go to treat it, I can wash it the same way with the scratch brights. It seems to be working. It's not as aggressive as sandpaper. That's, me and sandpaper don't like each other at all. That's a lot of soap. That's perfect. This is working great. Got a new CV antenna hookup for it. I'm gonna put me a Cobra 25 in it. I'll give, give Amber my Chrome 25. More horsepower to the car. All right, whole car is did. It's chilly this morning. This ain't gonna dry with a dam. It's all right. Get off there. There we go. Now we just gotta let that dry. My hands are already frozen. It's really that cold out today. So, in the initial plan of dummying this down so it's not so damn shiny, that worked. It dumbed it down a lot, and I didn't put a lot of pressure on it. Imagine if I put more pressure, it would do what I wanted it to do. So it's way too cold for this, but we gotta do it. I changed my jacket to my fancy Lucor automotive, you know, this thing's actually pretty nice, like really nice. You should go over there and check them out. Uh, I'm gonna get these edges done real quick with the little roller and then I'm gonna do the big one. Windy too, that's bad combination. Oh shit, about spilled her all over. Good job, Jay. Smart. Just for shits and grins. We'll run this channel down. We'll have to do it anyway, so. Just double checking. Make sure there's no runs, because if I decide to do a number three on here, I ain't sanding. So those are the absolute cheapest rollers you can buy. I asked Amber to go get me some rollers, and we do everything on the cheap here, so that's exactly what she was thinking. And she'd be right. I want to do this as cheap as possible as possible so this is about as good as it's gonna get when you're you know you're on a very very slim budget and I think once that dries there's gonna be some you know some crap that's gonna be stuck under the paint because obviously I got some critters that fell in it and I just whoosh, I don't care so we got that I'd say that roof is done, other than what I'm gonna do with the Scotch-Brite. I am gonna do that again before I do whatever treatment. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it to this whole damn car. Probably 
should have used a little better roller. But I'd call it done. I'm not. I may do like a little coats here and there because you can still see some of the brush marks. But I'm not touching that anymore. I say that and I might I might do a, a third coat because the more the merrier because I want this shit thick but I'm not painting it again for another week I need the heat of the sun to come down on this thing which it ain't doing today so I'm sure this is gonna take forever to freaking dry but we got other things we can do so we're moving on so while it's windy and cold I thought I would wash the sides of this thing with some SOS pads. I want to see what we're working with, what product I want to use as far as, you know, some kind of a clear coat. I'm not using, you know, shine juice or anything like that. It's, it's going to get a clear coat. I want it to stay permanent. So let's see how shiny she gets with a little washing and some SOS. Start right here. Ugh. So how's it look? Huh. Nice. So I took the liberty of doing this side of the hood and this side of the car with SOS pads. And holy cow, what a difference. What a difference that makes. You see this side ain't done yet and it is nasty. Of course it's in the shadow, you really can't see it, but this car is gonna look fantastic. But we gotta go to that guy's birthday party so he turned nine yesterday and we got a party for him so I'll get back to you when I get back to you hey what's going on it's the next day and the reason I'm able to work on a Monday is because I got all the way to my destination for pickup to go to Chicago load canceled go figure well that gives me more time to work on Artemis but I need to talk about something I'd never really bring up anywhere. You may see it down in the comments or you may see it in the description of the videos. I do have merch. I had somebody ask me that. Do you have shirts? Yeah, I do. I don't have any stickers on there. I do have stickers. If you see, if you come see me, I'll, you know, I'll gladly hand you some. I don't, I'm not going to charge you for stickers. That's promotion of my channel, you know, but the shirts are kind of more personal. So let me show you what I got here. This one. This is our Artemis t-shirt, and these are available in all sizes. I think all the way up to 5X. Uh, small all the way to 5X are in purple. You can get them in black, gray, charcoal, all kinds of stuff. And then I have another one that is actually a black shirt with just the Irish Outlaw Garage that you see at the end of the videos. It's just a logo that actually Amber designed. And it has the Celtic cross and all that stuff on it. I'm not the most religious person in the world, but it's the heritage thing, the Irish heritage thing. No, I'm not from Ireland. I'm from right here in God's green earth of the USA, which is the greatest country in the world, as long as you're not in a big city. No offense, no offense, but I don't like the big city. A few things I've been able to grab since selling the merch, and I owe, I owe this to all you people who are watching my videos and subscribing and notified, you know, notifications all that crap and my members especially let me show you what that got me or it didn't actually get me it got zeppi and he is ecstatic so if you've seen in the background of some of the videos you'll hear this thing just going off in the back and he just rides the piss out of this thing you know but look how good a shape it's in he you know he, he takes good care of it we try to take care of him but uh, he is way too big for this little Yamaha 50. So with money I got from the channel for his birthday, I got him this PW80. And 
we have to you know it needs work obviously so we're going to do that on the channel little father son work on his motorcycle it needs swing arm bushings it needs the uh neck stem the handlebar stem fork stem needs those bearings the exhaust needs work just little things but it runs great i've actually been riding it around here racing him up and down through the yard uh but i believe it's like an 03 04 they only made these to like 05 06 but this thing runs great got it from a guy over in indiana ran over there with blanche old blanche that was another one i didn't re i didn't record anything but she took another trip all the way over to indiana that's what i got from the channel for zeppelin because i'm only on this channel i'm only on this youtube for y'all to see because zeppelin asked me to do it so i thought i'd give him something back and i think he deserves it whatever keeps him out of the house that's that's what matters get the kids out of the friggin house and off the games have some fun but now i'm probably gonna have to get one a little bigger for me because now i want to ride them got two harleys i don't ride but why not get a dirt bike i'll i won't ride so anyway let's get back to work on the car again thank you all for watching subscribing being members buying t-shirts there will be a link in the description from now on i usually try to get it in there but it's a printify store it's the only way i can do it right now i'm actually in the process of working something out i don't have time nor the capacity to do it all here okay let's get it work on the car you know what it's been a bad day i'm gonna get rid of some aggression real quick I feel better anyway let's get wet yes 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 stuff works wonders my dad always uses stuff for tractors and different things this right here we're gonna have to fill because these leak right onto the motor so I got water going right on that engine and yeah it's outdoors anyway but anything to save it from you know short nap something we don't need that <clears throat> damn nice thing about this we'll be able to see what we all need to fill i can distinguish the bad from the good here Ugh. car looks 5,000 times better. Let me get through this thing, I'll get back with you. Well, she's all SOS, except for the chrome. I didn't do the chrome yet. Uh, I also took a Scotch Brite, no soap, went over the whole roof. Nothing big, just while it was wet, just lightly scraped over the top to get all them imperfections and little pieces of that crap roller that I used. I shouldn't have used those, but uh, it looks to have turned out pretty good, actually. So I'm gonna untape this. Let's see what it looks like. And that's it. Now I do realize I'm gonna have to, you know, touch up places like right there where it didn't quite get in, but I've got plenty of paint and I've even got spray paint. So this is just the roof, okay? Still got to do the down pillars and the sides of the door and make that back a little more, you know, even. I was going to paint the whole back. You know what? I'll just show you. So, so you can see it cleaned up really good. Once I did that over the top, there's a couple spots yet I can work out, but that's what touch up paints for actually, dude. So these little spots right here, I can feather in and then we'll take the SOS to this. I still got to paint this. That's not a big deal. That's easy. These door tops. This. Probably do inside the door too. That way I can get all this in here. But this looks fantastic. See this line here? I got it pretty good, but I'm not the best taper, so I didn't tape back here and it kind of got off key, but that's okay. But I was going to maybe paint this all white. But I don't think so. I think we're gonna leave it just the way it is. Probably scrape off some of the, the, the scale and then whatever treatment we use, 
that's what we'll put on there. Uh, as far as the white goes, that's it. This turned out awesome. Lots better than I thought. There's some imperfections, but guys, it's if you look back on the videos of what this looked like before, wow. But look at this thing now. It's nice and clean. She's ready for treatment. And plus, I gotta get some of my Bondo that fell, or my filler. Man, that wind is just howling. I hope this is picking up. Anyway, we got the chrome to do. We gotta put that thing on back on the top. It's right there. Uh, I need to clean it off, because my dumbass got primer on it. But uh, I'm gonna get that in, but I forgot to get rubber washers for the inside. I got a thing to go in here but I forgot rubber washers. So, but now that's painted, that should be good for a long time. This paint is pretty damn snazzy. And there's imperfections, like I said, I'm not worried about that. As long as there's no water going in there. And my main thing was right there. Look at that edge. You wouldn't even know it unless you was a damn pro professional. But if you're getting that nick picky about what this car used to look like, then I don't know what to tell you. We still do have all the chrome to do. And I'm gonna have to clean that windshield because I did get some overspray on it, not a big deal. But yeah, she's looking good. Excuse me, he's looking good. Amber kicked my ass. You know, out of both sides, I think this side's gonna look better with the treatment that I'm gonna use compared to this side. Cause this side is, it's blue. It's, you know, it's kept its color, but you know what? I gotta fix that door, but you know what? Compared to what we had when we found him. Yeah. What a, what a long process. And this has turned into a proud build, not just get it done that's why i went a little more out on the hood and i'm gonna do a few more things because it deserves it deserves the best that i can give it so i don't know tell me what you guys think well it's windy and nasty that's not really nasty it's just windy i can't wait for a tree to fall on one of my damn cars but just a typical day here at irish outlaw garage but i think i'm gonna end this one here next time we're gonna pull that seat out. We're gonna start on them floors a little bit. And that will be fun because they're terrible. They were worse. I made them not so bad worse, but now we gotta make them a whole lot better and safer. So this ought to be fun, okay? Cause there is no full floors for this thing. You can get this, you know, just a single panel, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. But next time you see it, we'll be taking that out put new floors in, and I even got some nice seats for this beast. That'll be comfortable for Amber to drive in. Her dad's gonna be going along. It'll be comfortable for him too. Guys, I appreciate it. Again, I don't know how to thank you for you know subscribing and everything that I make a little bit of money, not a lot, but it helped. It helped. I was able to give Zeppi one hell of a birthday present. But, you know, somebody like me, I didn't get that when I was a kid. It's not that, you know, I didn't have things, but I wanted to make sure he had as much fun as I did when I was a kid on three wheelers and everything else. As long as he don't go and chop half his face off trying to climb hills. Yeah, I don't recommend that one. But anyway, guys, you can go down to the description area, find my merch, just like the shirt that I got on. That helps. Don't make a lot off those, but it's enough to help. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications, share these videos, because this car is going on power tour, along with Blanche, our Ranchero 500. Can't wait to meet you all. If you see me, make sure you come say hi. I'll have stickers with me. I'll have all kinds of crap to give away from O'Reilly's and different places. Uh, I, I appreciate all them. Thank you to all my sponsors, roadkillcustoms.com. You can go to roadkill.store and get you shift knobs and all kinds of fun stuff. I got a couple more things for Artemis here that's gonna be a lot of fun. I think you're gonna like that came from Roadkill Customs. 
Thanks to Super Clean, as always, for helping me get things cleaned up around here. And thank you to Lugnut guys. They're going to be involved in this build. Got some cool things coming from them. Y'all take care of yourself. Appreciate you. Thanks.